Big cats are significant predators in many regions of the world, but they are notably absent in Australia. The reason for this is how long ago Australia became isolated. Australia has been slowly drifting away from other continents since the Cretaceous. The time period that occurred from 144 to 66 million years ago and ended with most of the dinosaurs going extinct. That means that Australia became isolated before cats and many other familiar mammal groups even existed. Marsupials are only present in Australia because they established themselves there before it broke away from Antarctica, which was habitable at the time. Over millions of years, Australia and associated islands like New Guinea drifted closer to the Indonesian archipelago. This allowed bats and rodents from Asia to colonize the Australian region by flying or being swept to sea while riding uprooted trees and other vegetation. But larger mammals like big cats never manage to do that, even though they are present on many islands in the Indonesia region, some of which are quite small. Until man wiped them out, tigers were even found as far east as the island of Bali, but never went east to the island of Lombok. The narrow strait between the two islands actually represents a significant geographical boundary for many animals, as it is the point where the Asian continental shelf ends. Bali and other western Indonesian islands are part of this continental shelf and were connected to the Asian mainland during the last ice age. As the Earth's temperature increased and ocean levels rose, large animals like big cats were stranded on what are now islands. Lombok and islands to its north and east are part of a region called Wallasey and are located in between the Asian and Australian continental shelves. Even when the sea levels were lower, this region was still comprised of scattered islands. Wallasey is named for the scientist Alfred Russell Wallace, who, in the middle of the 19th century, noticed a stark contrast between the animals of Bali and Lombok. Wallace drew a line, now known as the Wallace Line, between Bali and Lombok to separate the scattered islands of Wallasey from those that are connected to Asia's continental shelf. Later, the scientist Richard Lidecker drew a line that separated the eastern parts of Wallasey from the Australian continental shelf, better defining the region. Because a larger animal needs to be a good swimmer to move between Wallasey's islands, cats were never able to cross the region and move into Australia. The only particularly large mammals in Wallasey are on the island of Sulawesi, which lies on the edge of the region and would have been close to the mainland when sea levels were lower. Even though cats were incapable of reaching Australia, one marsupial lineage evolved to resemble them. Australia essentially had an imitation big cat the marsupial lion. Despite being smaller than true lions, the marsupial lion was the largest mammalian predator in Australia. It even had a bite force much stronger than that of true cats of its size. Besides its appearance, the marsupial lion was like true cats in another way as well. Even though it was widespread throughout the continent, the fake cat went extinct soon after the arrival of man. If you liked this video and want to see more like it, be sure to subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.